Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely from Twin Flame Reconnection. We're in Chicago. How are you doing today? I want to ask you, do you have a toxic workplace? Well, guess what? As people awaken, a lot of people begin to feel the toxicity of things. What about a toxic workplace? This can happen in many areas. You could work for an airline. You could work in a corporate environment. You could work with other people. You could work in a small shop. And it's not pretty sometimes. And the weird thing is, is sometimes the holidays come and everyone's like, oh, happy holidays, happy holidays. And then it goes back to being toxic again. And some people have worked together for years. And then it becomes this weird other toxic family that they have. We have people who are toxic in our families. We have people on our periphery or toxic friends. And we have toxic workplaces. Oh, my goodness. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my. How do we do this? How do we, you know, not feel the toxic stuff? How do we ourselves not be toxic? Because let's face it, you get enough of that and you want to like dish it back again. And some people, we're not here to retaliate. We are not here to do tit for tat and, you know, quid pro quo and they did it to me. I got to do it back to them and be sarcastic and snarky. There is now a better way and we teach this better way. Toxic workplaces are unproductive. They can lead to negligence. Negligence can lead to accidents or getting hurt, injuries. They can lead to long-term effects like chronic illness. Uh, let me ask you a little list of questions. We're going to just talk about toxic workplace. Do you feel dread? Do you feel like you're bracing yourself? And you tell yourself that little line like from that Mrs. Doubtfire movie, brace yourself, Ethel, we're going in. Yeah. If you're saying these things, we're checking a couple boxes here. Let's check a few more. Does it seem like people are attacking you? Does it feel like there's random sexual energies and people are doing sexual innuendos and, you know, you're having some alarms about it. You're, you know, like your hackles are racing. You're like, ooh, yeah, this is creepy. I don't want to work here. Do you feel and notice that there are people just like slackers? They are not doing their job. They are just punching in and they are checked out. Well, you're the one who is activated. You're the one who still has to work at a job. And I tell people, hang on a minute. Don't be so hasty and quit your day job because without adjusting you, you'll find the same stuff at any other workplace you go to. You're going to pick up and detect any of the toxic things. And don't kid yourself that like you're a magnificent healer of humanity. You're just an empath who is feeling stuff from people and we want to bring out your superpowers. Okay. People who are empathic can feel and detect things. They can sometimes predict things. That doesn't mean it's all pretty. That doesn't all mean it's like, oh, in six months, you're going to hit the lottery. And I know what numbers for you to pick. No, it is not like that. You're like, oh, that was predictable. Well, this is a repeat thing because karma keeps repeating itself. And we live in a karmic soup, okay, with other people who are still doing the same dualistic karmic things that people have always done. It doesn't matter if you were the 1800s and you had a blacksmith shop. I'm sure people would be doing the same things. You could work in a local tavern and people would be doing the same things, right? Or you could go 3,000 years ago, same stuff, same stuff, same stuff, different day, S-S-D-D, -D, right? That's what we tell each other. Well, same stuff, same old. Oh, the same. Okay. When we do this, and when I say when we do this, when we work with people to get rid of their empathic side and have them stop feeling all the toxic stuff, guess what happens? Their spirit takes over. Their spirit begins to deflect things. Their spirit begins to bring out more of their gifts and skills that they have garnered through their own hard-won experiences. You have some hard-won experiences and you've got to get that up and running because we need you. You're important. But how are you going to do this? You still got to work. 
There is a way to do it. And that's the first steps. Those are the first things. So toxic workplace can be the place where you get your feet wet doing this. It's not going to be a trial by fire. This is not a test of who you are as a twin flame. Don't look at everything like it's a test or, you know, I suppose that karma was supposed to happen. Karma happens because of crap. Okay. Karma happens because nobody knows what else to do except the same old thing. They're pushing the same buttons. They're doing the same knee jerk reactions. They're doing the same flirtations. They're doing the same negligence on their job. Who says enough is enough with me? Join us because we want you to be a part of the new solution for the new level and the new paradigm and your new life. Because just imagine this, okay? We teach this as a twin flame. When you're a twin flame, there's you and there's your other half and you're both working. I hope you're both working or doing something. You have a career or whatever. If one of you's a slacker, you're going to feel it on the other side and vice versa. So how do you get to your true productivity and how do you feel each other what the other one is dealing with through your brand new light body? Now, what if you're hunky-dory and everything's fine, but you're feeling stuff on the other side and you're like, gosh, I feel like my boss is mad at me, but my boss isn't mad at me. Yeah, and that'll make you think you have ADHD and ADD and depressive disorder. And like people, you know, they go, wow, 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 something's wrong with me. You're not crazy. There is a way to do this so that you're lifting up the fabric of your existence and not the other way around. That fabric of existence, that workplace that is supposed to pay you to live not the other way around, not live to work, but where you work so that you can live. That is what you need to focus on here. And that's what we help you to focus on. So even if you're able to predict things, we have ways to get you moving so that the things you're predicting are actually for your benefit and not, you know, not just random stuff, not just random stuff, because Random means, means karmic, okay? Random. Random car accidents, random. I mean, I had such a light bulb when I realized like a lot of negligence is actually, it's not karma the way we think it is. It's not, it's, it's a soothing thought for people to think like, well, they fulfilled their journey and, you know, well, they, you know, that was their karma. No, no. <laughs> Karma ended almost 15 years ago. If people still need a grace period, I guess they're in their grace period, but it's time to finish this stuff. It's time to stop being negligent. It's stop, time to stop being the empath. Stop bearing the brunt of everyone else's stuff. Stop feeling it. And really feel what you're supposed to feel. And what you're supposed to feel is not things that are toxic. We help you to get that detached compassion where you can go like this. Well, that looks like a toxic situation, but yeah, I'm out. And energetically, you are out. It's not hooking into you and latching on and burdening you. If you feel like work is a burden or the people around you are a burden or you got to babysit everyone, how would you like to find ways in your toxic workplace to Put the ball back into their court to gently nudge them what they need to do. We have a way to do that. Or if it's in your family or a family. Oh my God, double whammy. Family business. A lot of people have a family business. I know a family here. They have a plumbing business. I know a family that was my family. We had a graphic art studio. That was the family business. And, you know. We don't want to take work home in our bodies to our twin flame because that is not the new way. That is not the new way. And especially if that's one of you, because one of you will wind up like getting addicted all over again or something. Okay. And it's not funny, but <laughs> the vicious cycles have been there for a really long time. And it's time now to 
call it a day and use your light body learn your new light body learn all the bells and whistles it has people are assuming like it's this you know like yeah 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 uh-uh there is a lot of stuff temperature regulation regulation of your hormones relubrication of your joints and your private part areas super high intelligence wittiness inventiveness creativity that's just the good stuff i mean you may have never kissed like like i mean there is just a lot of stuff on your horizon come on and join us ask your question and answer we do this live you get to ask things and get answers on the spot because we do that within here and we encourage you to be empowered what that means is get your own body up and running and start using it so that it's for your life it's like customizing things for your life not the other way around this is not a cookie cutter there is a total myth of a mass ascension work on your own twin flame ascension your twin flame follows in your footsteps when you do this and not the other way around or well i should say if you do nothing they will do nothing or you could get dragged along behind them but there's usually this thing where you're like two race horses you're kind of running neck and neck but it is not a race it is not a competition it is not about which one of you can do it better it's not about which one of you is being tested in your faith and fortitude no that's not what your soul wants your soul just wants you to do this so you can get rid of the old paradigm get rid of the old patterns and don't be affected by people's toxic stuff so we hope to see you there please look at the links below or on my website twinflameringconnection.com I'm in Chicago I'm going to be having two live classes coming up in June so please come and join us thanks so much have a good day and if you're not having a good day please join us we have ways to get you better bye